you obviously knew you were taking a huge step mm. leaving Tottenham and going to Arsenal. Mm. But even now, were you shocked by the vilification? I'm shocked a little bit because it's 15 years now. You know, well, definitely well over a decade. So, um, but then you've got to look at the situation that, you know, I've, you know, they've, for, for the Tottenham fans, they, they really appreciated and loved me. But that was difficult because I was going through so much with, with the club. And I tried to kind of move the club on. You know, I, I wanted to, you know, to move the club on. And, and, and even at the last knockings of, of, of the contract talks, I said, here's a contract. And I, you know, I gave him a four year contract with a one year break clause. Um, you proposed it to them as opposed to the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave him a four-year contract. We were one-year break calls, and I said, "Look, listen. I'll give you one more year at this rate." Um, basically, I'm saying, "Well, if they can pay me this, maybe they can pay other guys like 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 me on this kind of rate to bring him in to to move the club on." In fact, you say uh, the club told you you were the highest earner at the club, and you found out you weren't. No, that's the thought I found out. So you know, typical Spurs fans of saying, "Listen." I'm sorry about the situation with, with me going. I apologise with the people who have maybe a little bit more, uh, a little bit of warmth for me. I'm sorry how it happened and, and the hurt with the move. I'm not, I, I, I'm not going to apologise for the move because I was very successful uh, with, with, with Arsenal and, and winning. But the move, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to apologise and say, look, sorry about the hurt, you know, it, it you know, inflicted on them.